So now that we know how to move around, what we're going to start doing is using the paintbrush tool to create our world. So what we're going to do first is down at the bottom, we're going to select the paintbrush. And then all we need to do is move our mouse and we can paint onto the world. Notice how I'm also using my fingers to do all of this. We can also change the sort of brush from a rounded, pixelated kind of brush to a more block kind of brush. And you can see down at the bottom with the edges, they're not quite as smooth. So if you don't like painting with a circle, you can obviously always move over to a square. And now we just reselect our brush and we're painting with a square instead. So. If you don't like this kind of color, you can always change your colors around too. All you have to do is select these multicolored blocks down at the bottom. Select a different color. I like this one. You know, it's very summery and fresh. And then all you have to do is paint over it. So a really fun part about using Kodu is building land and making landscapes. So we're going to slowly move into that as well. And the first tool that we're going to go over is making mountains. So down at the bottom here, we're going to select this up and down mountain kind of brush. And using this, you can create mountains around your world. Now, my mountains are also very pixelated, as you can see here. One way that we can fix this is going back to our brush tool, selecting the smoother brush, and repainting over them. And this gives us this really cool spiky mountain look. Another part of the Kodu world is creating water. So we can move over to the water tool over here, and we can raise and lower the water that's in our world. You can also choose different types of water, and the way to do this is similar to how you can choose different types of land. And the way you do this is go down here and select the four different water. And then I like lava, so we're going to choose lava. And now, when I raise my water, I'm going to make some lava. So we're going to lower it a bit. So here we have a world. We can also move into changing our background to, let's say, purple, because I like purple too. So now that we have our beginning little world, let's move into creating a program on it.